In a military research lab, a rat searching for food becomes the prey of an unseen predator, revealed only by the blood on its fangs. Meanwhile, Dr. Sebastian Kane works late in his apartment to reverse an invisibility procedure. He briefly admires his attractive neighbor, but is disappointed when she closes her blinds. Suddenly, he makes a breakthrough and tests it on his computer. He calls his former girlfriend and colleague, Linda McKay, to share the news. During their call, he sees a man in her bed, but she brushes off his questions. After showing her the formula, he asks her to contact their colleague Matt Kensington for a live test. Later, Linda wakes Matt and insists they go to the lab separately to keep their relationship with Sebastian, though Matt hints they'll have to tell him eventually. At the lab, Matt heads to sedate the invisible gorilla, Isabel, but she scratches him and escapes. In pursuit, he bumps into Sebastian, who grabs a tranquilizer gun and bets Matt he can catch Isabel first. Matt misses his shot, but Sebastian successfully tranquilizes her. Dr. Sarah Kennedy, the lab vet, scolds Sebastian for using the untested formula, but he insists it will save time. Linda interrupts, stating the lab is ready. After checking Isabel's vitals, Sarah prepares her for the injection. When Matt is about to inject the serum, Sebastian takes the syringe, claiming it should be his honor. Once injected, the serum makes Isabel's vital organs visible, astonishing the team. However, she soon thrashes in pain, leading to cardiac arrest. Linda uses a defibrillator multiple times, and just as Matt prepares an intracardiac injection, Isabel's heart starts beating again. As her condition stabilizes, she gradually becomes visible. The research team later celebrates at a fancy restaurant, where Sebastian expresses his feelings about their past relationship, hinting at wanting to reconcile. His hopes are dashed when Linda pulls away during a kiss. Days later, at the Pentagon, Sebastian reports his findings to an oversight committee, surprising Linda and Matt by claiming he has not reversed the procedure. He insists that the team is close, but needs more time. Dr. Howard Kramer praises Sebastian's efforts, but warns him that the government could easily replace him if he doesn't deliver results soon. Sebastian confides in Linda and Matt that he isn't ready to disclose their success to the military, fearing they might take over the project. Sebastian proposes testing humans without government approval, arguing that following the rules won't lead to success. He believes that taking control of the project could increase their chances of winning a Nobel Prize. Back at the lab, he tells the team they've received clearance for human testing because he volunteered. Aware of their concerns, he points out their success with seven apes and insists that human testing is the next logical step. He plans to remain invisible for three days before reversing the process. On the day of the procedure, Matt urges him to reconsider, but Sebastian is set on being the first human subject. He tells Linda he'll inject himself to protect her from any potential fallout. After injecting the serum, Sebastian feels a tingling in his arm and starts thrashing in pain as his skin begins to disappear. Noticing his unstable heart rate, EMT Carter Abbey quickly brings over a defibrillator, but before they can use it, his heart rate stabilizes despite his agony. Sebastian then loses consciousness as his body turns invisible. 17 hours later, he wakes up, overwhelmed by the brightness, and asks Linda to turn off the lights, realizing he can't close his eyelids. He checks a mirror to confirm his invisibility, and later walks with Matt and Linda to show the rest of the team. Linda tells Sebastian that someone will stay with him for assistance, while the rest of the team remains on standby. Before leaving, she informs Sarah that Carter will visit in the morning and she'll return by 8. While Sarah sleeps, Sebastian caresses her hair and inappropriately touches her. When Sarah wakes and sees her unbuttoned shirt, she asks if Sebastian is in the room. He quickly lies down as she turns around. The next morning, Sarah confides in Linda and Matt about her suspicions regarding Sebastian's actions while she was asleep. Sarah advises the team against confronting Sebastian. Three days after the procedure, the team begins preparations for the reversal on Sebastian. After Matt injects him with the serum, Sebastian starts to breathe heavily and voices his concern that something feels off. Before long, he begins to thrash on the table, breaking free from his restraints, but then he collapses and loses consciousness. Hours later, when Sebastian wakes up, Linda informs him that he is very close to dying. In response, Sebastian tells her that he needs to make some adjustments to maintain his invisibility. Together, they decide to create a latex mask that will allow him to be visible while he moves around the lab. 
In the following days, Matt becomes increasingly desperate as he searches for a way to reverse the procedure without putting Sebastian's life at risk. After being invisible for 10 days, Sebastian grows frustrated with the numerous tests and his confinement in the lab. One night, with only Carter present to supervise him, Sebastian makes the decision to sneak out. Carter, unable to prevent him from leaving, quickly alerts the rest of the team about Sebastian's escape. While driving, Sebastian decides to have a bit of fun and scares two kids in a nearby car by revealing his empty eye sockets. Upon returning home, Sebastian notices his neighbor in the building across from him changing her clothes. Feeling hesitant yet curious, Sebastian decides to use his invisibility to observe his neighbor more closely. He rings her doorbell several times until she finally answers and steps out. After she returns inside, he watches her comb her hair in front of a mirror. As he adjusts the mirror, she looks around, confused and alarmed. When she turns her back, Sebastian begins to force himself on her. At that moment, Linda arrives at Sebastian's apartment and finds his mask and clothes on the bed. After seeing her, Sebastian waits for her to leave before heading back home. Back at the lab, Frank Chase distributes tranquilizer guns to the team as they prepare to search for Sebastian outside. When Sebastian returns, he claims he was just grabbing some things from home. Linda warns him that if he tries to leave again, she will report him to the committee. A few days later, Matt calls Linda to share a breakthrough in their research, but a simulation fails at the lab. Frustrated, Sebastian confides in Linda that he feels trapped in the lab and unable to fully use his invisibility. When Linda tells him he's not a prisoner, he points out that she can be with her boyfriend while he's stuck there. Later, he sets up a video loop of himself sleeping and goes to Linda's apartment, finding her with Matt. As they get intimate, Sebastian breaks in to interrupt them. Linda checks the lab to see if he's escaped, but Frank assures her he's still in bed. Furious, Sebastian returns to the lab, where he kills an invisible dog out of frustration. When Sarah questions him about it, he lies and says he was asleep. Reviewing the security footage, they verify he never left his room. Meanwhile, Linda hears strange noises at home and rushes to the lab, where she sees Sebastian on the monitor, but not in his room. Realizing he's been looping the video, she calls the team back to the lab. Meanwhile, Sebastian watches the research team arrive in the parking lot. Matt and Linda report Sebastian to Dr. Kramer, unaware that he's following them. After they leave, Sebastian attacks Dr. Kramer by the pool and drowns him. Dr. Kramer calls for his wife, but she arrives too late. The next day, Linda learns of Dr. Kramer's death and finds the phone lines cut when she tries to call another committee member. When Matt and Linda attempt to leave the lab, the security system blocks the elevator and they discover their access codes have been revoked. As the team searches for Sebastian, lab tech Janice Walton falls behind while getting thermal goggles. Sebastian appears and strangles her with an IV line. Unable to find Kramer, Linda uses the intercom to inform Sebastian that the committee knows what he did. He reveals he killed Kramer to prevent him from speaking. The team soon realizes Janice is missing and finds her body in a locker using the thermal goggles. When they see movement in the corridors, Matt and Carter grab tranquilizer guns while Linda guides them. Carter spots heat signatures behind the pipes, but Matt realizes the heat is coming from the vent. While Matt isn't watching, Sebastian grabs Carter from a ceiling pipe. Matt shoots at Sebastian but misses, hitting a pipe instead. As Matt continues shooting, Sebastian throws Carter against the wall, causing a severe injury that leads to massive blood loss. Sebastian hides among the heat from the pipes, making Matt's thermal goggles ineffective. Running out of tranquilizers, Matt grabs a fire extinguisher, which allows him to see Sebastian through the smoke, but he still struggles to hit him. Sebastian overpowers Matt, but Linda arrives just in time to help him. Meanwhile, Sarah realizes Carter has lost too much blood and rushes to get more from the fridge. However, Sebastian locks her inside. She spills blood on the floor to track Sebastian's movements and manages to splash him, but he tackles her and knocks her out with a tranquilizer before breaking her neck, killing her instantly. Carter soon succumbs to his injuries as Frank waits for Sarah to return. Frank leaves Carter's lifeless body behind and joins Matt and Linda in their search for Sarah. Sebastian suddenly appears and attacks Frank, stabbing him with a crowbar. He then turns on Matt 
stabbing him in the lower chest with a metal bar before locking both Matt and Linda inside the fridge. Sebastian retreats to his room to retrieve his mask and prepare for his escape from the lab. Meanwhile, Linda tends to Matt's injury using duct tape and manages to escape from the fridge by manipulating a magnetized metal drawer handle. After freeing Matt, she drags him out of the freezer and starts a fire to help warm him up. At the same time, Sebastian is busy gathering chemicals to create an explosive device intended to destroy the lab and eliminate any evidence of his crimes. He places the chemicals into a centrifuge and sets a timer for five minutes before making his way to the elevator. Just as he reaches the lift, Linda confronts him and ignites him with a flamethrower. She quickly slides down to the floor to prevent the elevator doors from closing and continues to unleash flames at Sebastian. After leaving the lift, Sebastian removes his tight clothes, becoming invisible again. Linda activates the sprinklers with the remaining fuel from the flamethrower. Sebastian sneaks up on her, but Matt intervenes and knocks him out with a crowbar. Sebastian then tries to hit Matt, but in the struggle, he accidentally hits a fuse box and gets electrocuted, making him partially visible. Matt and Linda spot a makeshift bomb that Sebastian created and rush to the elevator to climb a ladder outside. As they ascend, the bomb explodes, sending the elevator upward and scraping Linda's shoulder. The elevator then drops back down, stopping just before hitting Matt. While they try to climb again, Sebastian pulls Linda down and they both land on the elevator, which is hanging by a thick wire. As Linda struggles, Sebastian kisses her, saying it's for old times. In that moment, she grabs the wire and uses her foot to disconnect it, watching as Sebastian falls to his death down the elevator shaft. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.